Anunnaki Gods in Revelation First I take you to Revelation 19.17 And I saw an angel standing in the sun equals the great American solar eclipse on April 8th of 2024 and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come and gather yourselves together with the supper of the great God God means Elohim and there is only one that walked and talked on earth called the Anunnaki Elohim Anunnaki gods are secret gold miners Enlil is the first recorded merchant in the world that started humanity with his brother Enki. April 8, 2024, we will have a Devil's Comet, Nissan Abib, and a solar eclipse. Going through seven Ninevehs, plus we are already in the year of the dragon. The Anunnaki gods have been owning this earth since recorded history in Sumer, Mesopotamia, and the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is about them. It ends with Babylon and it begins in the middle of the Bible with Babylon and it goes from there in Sumer, Mesopotamia. Are you going to fool yourself and say there is two set of gods in the same geographical area creating creation at the same time? time concurrently. Now it is the end of days. Every 2,000 years we have an end of days on the zodiac calendar of a great year of 26,000. This is why Jesus had 12 sets of disciples or apostles. Odin had 12 sons. Jacob had 12 sons. And the zodiac clock continues. Now it is the end of days and all this will come true. And they owe you an explanation. And here is a start. Either way or the fifth element of Enlil, the god of air, I will see you again. This is a transition to another living and also a battle in America, which is the new Babylon in the age of Pisces, switching to Aquarius. The tribe of Dan or Daniel has pissed off a lot of people. But we will rule forever in Daniel 7.18. Rise up, Americans or Americans. No room on this ship for the weak, but only the strong. We will need another one or a strong nation under God or Anunnaki Elohim. Rise up like Christ as a God-man and stay strong. Biblical proof of Nasku found in Revelation 14, 6. He is the attendant deity or Sukkel of Enlil. And I saw another angel, Nasku, flying in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Biblical proof of King Anu, Enlil, and Enki found in Revelation 14.7, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, or Anunnaki Elohim, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven, who is the sky god Anu, and earth, who is god Enlil, and the sea, who is god Enki. And the fountains of waters is also the god Enki. Revelation 14.8 And there followed another angel, or Sukkel, meaning attendant deity, of Enlil, named Nasku, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. 
This can only be Anana Ishtar. Because the Anunnaki put her out there for you to lust after and all her materialism. As she is the goddess of love and also war. Pictured to the right is Marduk, the god of Babylon. And there can only be one Babylon and one king of the gods, or Yahweh, in Babylon. And his name was Marduk. And his name means, I am that I am. Or, I will be what I will be. And this is found in Exodus 3.14. He is not just one god, but he represents 50 names of Marduk, meaning he is not just one God, but he is one God with precedence over the other gods, as he was called king of the gods in Unama Elish. And in Revelation, as I just gave you proof, Babylon, Babylon is fallen in Revelation 14, 8. It ends with Babylon in Revelation. So we must consider that the Bible foretells Babylon in a much earlier date, such as in Isaiah, Jeremiah, and also considering the Unima Elish and Bel and the Dragon, which Marduk is riding a Mashushu dragon pictured here. Next, I take you to Daniel 7. One, in the first year of Belteshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his head. Then he wrote the dreams and told the sum of the matters. Bel, Marduk, is known as Bel. And there can only be one king of Babylon and king of the gods known as Bel Marduk. Daniel 7, 2 through 3. Daniel spoke and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. Daniel 7, 3. And the four great beasts came upon up from the sea, diverse one from another. And this relates to Revelation 13, 1. Revelation 13, 1. And I saw and stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Next I take you to Revelation thirteen five through 6 and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Revelation 13, 6. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against Elohim or Anunnaki Elohim to blaspheme his name. And his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Next, I take you to Daniel 12, 8 through 13. I heard, but I did not understand. So I asked my Lord, Anunnaki Elohim, what follows this? Go, Daniel, he said, because the words are to be kept secret and sealed until the end time, many shall be refined, purified, anointed and tested. But the wicked shall prove wicked. None of them shall have understanding, but the wise shall have it. From the time the daily sacrifice is abolished and the horrible abomination is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is a man who has patience and preserves until 1,335 days. Go take your rest, you shall rise for your reward at the end of the age or zodiac age. On December 12, 2019, we had the uh, pestilence of the 19. And if you add 
2,625 days, you will come up with Thursday, February 18th, 2027. Remember, Jesus Christ is the bread of life found in, or also the manna found in John 6.33 and also John 6.48. Today I leave you with Revelation 3, 16 through 18. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, Jesus says. Revelation 3.17 Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increase with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, and poor and blind and naked. Biblical proof of Ninurta, son of Enlil, who inherited the Akur, and also in the myth slain heroes, and the exploits of Ninurta, he is the new king and also leader of the Anunnaki, found in Revelation 3.18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayst, mayst be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayst be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye slave, that thou mayest see. Luke 11, 32. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The Anunnaki destroyed Nineveh at the end of the age of of Ares to enter into the age of Pisces. Jonas was a fish, Apkula, fish priest king of Inki. Next I take you to Luke 11.33. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in May, see the light. This next one relates to the anointing of your eye, found in Biblical Proof of Ninurta and Enlil in Revelation 3, 18. That you may anoint your eyes so that you may see. And Jesus puts it best, of course, found in Luke eleven thirty four. The light of the body is the eye or pineal gland. Therefore, when thy eye or pineal gland is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Luke eleven thirty five. Take heed, therefore, that thy light which is in thee be not darkness.